This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and today we're going to look at this innocent-looking product, which could be the most dangerous lock I own. You see, two weeks ago I was traveling and had the unfortunate pleasure of staying in a ground floor hotel room, and it had this exact model of lock installed on the one narrow window that opened. The way it was situated, the window could only be cracked a couple of inches. And while that does have the nice benefit of letting in a cool breeze while keeping intruders out, it also has a very serious drawback. The occupant of the room can't use the window as an exit in the case of an emergency, something like a fire or an intruder breaking in the main door. It's for that reason that it probably also violates every fire code in the country. So I went online that night and I found the exact model of lock that was on my hotel room window, and today I'm going to show you how it can be bypassed with almost no skill at all. If we look at the back of this lock, we can see that the core is held in place with a spring-loaded wafer. I can just push that aside, and when I do, that core slides right out the front. If we take it all the way out, you can see the lock releases. Let's put that back into position now. So if all we need to do is hit that one wafer in the back, we'll need a thin piece of metal and we should be able to remove the core. I'm using a pick right now, but you could probably also use a paper clip or thin piece of wire. That's how fast and easy it is. Let's do that one more time so I can show you it's not a fluke. There we go. Interestingly, this works on a good percentage of furniture locks as well. So, a remarkably easy lock to defeat if you know what you're doing, but potentially lethal in the wrong circumstances. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.